Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. You know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Sorry to bother you. No bother, Effendi. Now, let me get back to work, please. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Excuse me. Yes? Do you know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? He has a shop nearby, behind the marketplace. Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish a volunteer would step forward to assist me. Listen. What? I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. Do it and I'll let you wear my hat. I'll let you wear my fist if you keep this up. Come on, assist the guy, will ya? Nope, nope, nope. Please, it's perfectly safe. Oh, sure. I wouldn't trust that man to cut carrots. You're not really looking. Observe that superb technique. Oh, all right. I don't know. Those knives look dangerous. Listen. What? The man's desperate. He needs your help. Is this your idea of a friendly nudge? Think about the effect on international relations. I'm thinking about the effect on my health. We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. Oh, I get it. You're chicken. Well, cock-a-doodle-doo, I'll never volunteer. So where's your sense of adventure? Excuse me. Yes? You know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? Omar, his pitiful excuse for a shop is down the alley here. What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. Do you accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. Well, a squab would sure hit the spot. 20 dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal?
Let me get back to you on that. At your convenience. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Fendi? Are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the Lost Kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? I don't think I've got anything that would convince you. Not unless you possess one of the stone keys that open the gates of Atlantis. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I'm not sure I know what you mean. For example, it is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. Show me one of those if you can. I saw a stone disc once, but someone stole it. That's too bad. I don't discuss the Lost Kingdom with amateurs. Excuse me. What is it? You think this guy is Al Jabbar? There's only one way to find out. He wants to see a stone disc. Maybe we better get one and show it to him. Hot enough for you? It'll get a lot hotter if the Nazis beat us to Atlantis. Let me think. Okay. Well, here we are. But what does Trottier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. I had no idea Monte Carlo was the lost city. Don't start with me, Indy. It's Trottier we're after. Okay, I'll try to find him. Good. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. A seance? 
I'll go get ready. The door is closed. The door is closed. Any luck, Indiana? Where's Trottier? I have no idea where he is. Well then, get back out there. Hey there. Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. Excuse me. Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. Hey there. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. That's me. And I am Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Adding up today's date and my birthday foretold extraordinary events on the boulevard tonight. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them... Answer me this. Why did the Atlanteans build their huge colossus? To stop the sea level rising. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? Madame Sophie is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them... Answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? When the celestial spheres were well aligned. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? Madame Sophia would like to trade her wisdom for yours. I'm sure she would, and steal my secrets. What kind of idiot you take me for? Monsieur Trottier? Yes? Sorry about being so rude. I do not believe your sincerity. The door is closed. 
It's open. Did you find our man, Indy? Where's Trottier? I've tried, and that fool won't come up here. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that possibility. Just drop Nurab Sal's name. Monsieur Trottier? Yes? Well, <laughs> she's a charming woman. <laughs> so, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Okay, Trottier's all yours. Let's begin again, shall we? With a token of power for Nurab Sal. Here's the stone key. Very well, let's begin. Uh, one moment, madame. We've never met before. You could be an imposter. If you really have psychic powers, tell me. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? How should I know? Read my mind, or read Dr. Jones' minds if you prefer. I told him everything. Hmm, let me think. The tarot cards told you to. Ah, most interesting. What is my greatest fear? You fear fakers. Hmm, you don't say. What is my greatest need? You need the truth. Hmm, you don't say. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? What kind of stupid question is that? The answer depends on pure chance. Not if you're truly psychic. Don't worry, I won't cheat. How many fingers? Well, all I can do is try a wild guess. I am very disappointed, madame. You have failed my little test. Please excuse me for just a moment. Of course, madame. Uh, can I talk to you, Dr. Jones? Do you know the answers to his ridiculous test? Sorry, I can't remember a thing. Want me to take over? No, I'll try again. Well, now. Sorry about the interruption. Let's start again. Please, madame. First, my test. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? Your horoscope told you to. Aha! Uh -huh. That is intriguing. What is my greatest fear? 
You fear your wife. Well, well, well. Fascinating. What is my greatest need? You need a new spiritual advisor. Hmm, you don't say. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? I am very disappointed, madame. You have failed my little test. Please excuse me for just a moment. Of course, madame. I seem to be having some trouble tonight. You're doing fine, but I'll take over if you want. No, I'll try again. Well, now. Sorry about the interruption. Let's start again. Please, madame. First, my test. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? Your horoscope told you to. Well, well, well. Fascinating. What is my greatest fear? You fear your wife. Hmm, you don't say. What is my greatest need? You need a new spiritual advisor. Aha! Uh -huh. That is intriguing. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? Four. I am very disappointed, madame. You have failed my little test. Please excuse me for just a moment. I'm sorry, madame. You're making me nervous. Au revoir. Whoops. I'll say, I'm taking control of this team. I'm sorry, Indy. This isn't working. Let's move on. Okay. We could talk to Omar again. Get a cab and I'll join you. I better put the flashlight back. I'd better put the sheet back. Wait for me! Excuse me. What? We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. Okay, don't volunteer. Never. So where's your sense of adventure? Excuse me. What? What do we do now? We need an Atlantean stone disc to show Omar. Maybe we should talk to Trottier again.
We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. Please, it's perfectly safe. What's with you anyway? You gotta see this genius in action. Really? I better not get too close. Oof! Look here, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... Just walk over to the board now. Mm. Ta-da! Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Here, take this knife before I use it on you. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I'm not sure I know what you mean. For example, it is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. Show me one of those if you can. I saw a stone disc once, but someone stole it. That's too bad. I don't discuss the lost kingdom with amateurs. It's a sharp, blood-stained knife. Excuse me. I think this may interest you. Sorry. Not interested in your kind offer, I'm afraid. Hello there. Back again, eh? How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Sorry to bother you. No bother, Effendi. Now let me get back to work, please.
funny. Looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Sal. Excuse me again. Yes? How much for the mask? You can take the worthless thing. It's getting away my best customers. This thing is spooky. You find Trottier and I'll do the rest. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Madame Sophia wants another seance. Well, <laughs> she's a charming woman. <laughs> so, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Thank you for giving me another opportunity, monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. Let's move on. Let's move on. We must find my spirit guide. Let's move on. The lights! What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. I feel the presence of Nurab Sal approaching us. Ooh. Aye. Well done, Indy. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. I better put the flashlight back. I better put the sheet back. Wait for me!
Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. I'm not sure I should trust you. Let me know when you make up your mind. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. Here it is. Take a look. Ah, a sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. And the most stupendous find, Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Let's get down to business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. We'll never give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple of sturdy camels. You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. What will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about 
this baseball, it's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. What else have you got? How about this voodoo doll? It was carved from trees in the Black Forest. No, thanks. Can I see something else? How about this little red wagon? It once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. I'll give you this little red wagon for a squab. Mm hmm. Sorry, Fendi, I never accept gifts for myself. And certainly not in this color. I've got another offer. Make it. I'll trade this beautiful knife for a squab. I already have several of those knives. The knife thrower has notoriously bad aim. Hold the squad. I'll be back later. Certainly, Effendi. Excuse me. Yes? So long. Salam. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my wagon for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This yellow yo-yo? It was hand-painted by an Arabian princess. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. Will you give me a squab for this brand new yo-yo? Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Fendi, but I cannot make that trade. Even though yellow is my favorite color. Hold the squab. I'll be back later. Certainly, Fendi. Excuse me again. Yes? 
Can I trade my yo-yo for something else? Do you have anything in mind? I don't know, something yellow maybe. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... This antique brass spittoon? With it a man may spit like a camel in the privacy of his own home. I don't think that's it. What else can you show me? How about... This yellow scarf? It's a bit dowdy, but comfortable. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. If you give me a squab, I'll give you my yellow scarf. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Effendi, but I cannot make that trade. Though it is a pleasant color. Hold the squab. I'll be back later. Certainly, Effendi. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my yellow scarf for something else? Do you have anything in mind? I don't know, something yellow maybe. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... This priceless gold buckle? It was a gift to Queen Cleopatra. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. I'll turn over a genuine gold buckle for a squab. Hmm. Hmm. This gift will save my marriage, Effendi. And it's so color coordinated. Here, have a squab. Thank you. Hello there. Back again, eh? How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Now, let me get back to work, please. Excuse me. You bring food? Here. Thank you, Effendi. Here's your free gift. It says one day pass Kareem sightseeing tours.
a fine example of Algerian know-how. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see sights. If not, you don't. Will this do? A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. Excuse me. I haven't got all day, Effendi. Looks like it's ready to go. We're free!